Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen here at Soul Magic Inspiration and Star Child Tarot and today we're here for Pick a Pile so this is positive news from your angels, ancestors and guides so what you need to hear from them right now, they want to communicate to you before we look at the piles I just want to say a big thank you for your love and support I really appreciate that if you'd like to support me I have a Patreon from just £3 a month you can also purchase one of my deck designs from my card shop the links are down below if you'd like a personal reading you can email me and again the links are down below so we're going to get started so let's look at pile one i pre-shuffled sure the oracles we've got healing so if that resonates for you pile one pile two we have guardian angel and pile three we have self-acceptance so pick your pile and we'll get started Hello Pile 1, so you chose the Healing card and so I'm pretty sure for the Oracles and we are going to get some Tarot at the end as well so positive, the heal Healing so your guys and angels and ancestors want you to accept Healing to work on your Healing right now, to focus on that to really get in touch with what you need to heal to go deep within, maybe get assistance from a healer, go and see a healer or there's lots of online things that you can tap into, um, Reiki healing, um, I've just released a solar plexus healing, um, you know, whatever you feel you need, you know, maybe tune into uh, guidance through meditation or pray on this <coughs> to get guidance. So yeah, focus on your healing right now, that's what they want you to do, they really want to focus on healing. And also you can see they're outside by the nature, in nature, by tree. So get out into the fresh air when you can. Get out into nature when you can because that's really going to help you heal as well. It's very healing for us. So we've got focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in the constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and all that you do. So this could be something you're very drawn to. This could be something you're doing right now. But it's always about having that balance of give and take. Um, sometimes uh, there's some of us that tend to overgive and don't allow others to give to us. And it's a gift to others when we allow them to give to us and we open up to receive. So be in the stream of give and, give and take, you know, make sure that you are in that stream of giving and receiving, in balance, and in all that you do, not just in service to others, but in your life in general, um, make sure that you're keeping yourself, um, your energy, you know, maintained, you're not depleting your energy by over giving, make sure you do energy work, you know, do clearing on your energy in your home, around your aura, and to keep yourself cleansed and clear, make sure you have strong boundaries with others as well. Make sure that you're not afraid to say no sometimes and be in that balanced energy. And reward yourself. You've been given a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. The balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy mood and motivation at a consistently high level. So again, it's talking about that given giving and receiving energy so there could be a bit out of balance in your life and that could be an issue that you need to need to focus on in your healing i'm sure there's other issues but this is a very important thing so make sure you reward yourself make sure that you um celebrate your victories you know you celebrate those milestones whatever that is reward yourself in some way for something you've achieved some task or just for being you you know you don't have to achieve anything just for being you just Pamper yourself, reward yourself, buy yourself a little treat. It's good to do that for ourselves. That's part of self-love energy. And, you know, make sure you're in balance of giving and receiving, you know, with others. Um, so this can keep your mood and motivation high. Um, because when it, we're out balancing that giving and receiving energy, we can feel depleted and exhausted. So we need to honour ourselves and take care of ourselves. And we've got Joan of Arc, the voice of truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. So some of you could resonate with having other lifetimes, maybe where you were persecuted for speaking your truth. 
you know, we we see the history of the world, don't we? And people were persecuted for being different, for living their life in a different way, for speaking out against authority or whatever. And you could have a fear in you of speaking your truth. And it's time now to speak your truth. Your truth is needed in the world. We need more people to speak their truth and speak out and be authentic and speak out against, you know, injustice and the wrongs that are happening in the world. And it's time to release that fear. And they want you to work on that. So again, you could heal that within you as well. Do that healing on that persecution complex that you may have. And we've got Diana, focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high and expect the best possible outcome. So you have the power basically within you to manifest your desires is what they're telling you. Okay, so think about what you desire. Don't think about what you don't want. You know, because you're going to attract that in the universe doesn't know the difference between what you want and what you don't want. So focus on the things that you want, you know, being a good energy, focusing, you know, with your thoughts, your words, your heart, your actions. Um, expect, set your sights high, expect the best for yourself. You deserve the best and focus on what you want. OK, so you have that strong power of manifestation right now. So be careful what you wish for, be careful what you're thinking about, what you're speaking about, because you're going to manifest that into reality. And we've got Peace Offering, the White Buffalo Calf Woman. So there could be a Peace Offering coming towards you is what I'm feeling. There could be somebody wanting to make peace with you, or this could be you wanting to make peace with somebody, maybe clear the air. Um, and with the White energy, it's like a brand new beginning for me, like a like a virgin energy, like a brand new beginning. Um, maybe there's an opportunity for a brand new beginning once you make peace with somebody. But coming into a peaceful space with somebody else, I feel this is what this is talking about. Um, so take that, how that resonates for you. And we've got the spiritual law of attraction, Mesochadic. So again, it's telling you you have the power here of manifestation. You, you are going to tap into that spiritual law of attraction you're going to work with those energies to manifest your desires and you can call a mesochadic to assist you at this time if you resonate with that energy but you have the power within you to manifest your desires so make sure you're focusing on as, as i said this is what they want you to focus on what you actually want rather than what you don't and we've got the end of a cycle so yeah i feel you're coming out of a difficult time we've got the darkness around her there and I don't know if that's a crow or a raven. I'm not very good with birds. But darkness, you know, coming out of the darkness. Um, a lack of seeing, you know, like her left eye uh, cannot see. Um, there's like symbols. So, yeah, she could have been out of balance as well in her life. And maybe you've been through Dark Night of the Soul. Maybe you've been doing some shadow work here. And, you know, your left and right brain, uh, sorry, your left and right, um, your balance was out of balance, if that makes sense. Your left and your right, your masculine, your feminine, your dark, your light. So I feel that you're coming into balance. It's the end of a cycle. So you're coming out of a period of darkness. I feel you've been through a lot. And maybe that's why you need the healing right now. You're coming out of a period of darkness into the light. You know, we can see that there. Um there's a light shining so light is coming into your life and you know happier times are coming into your life and we've got ocean sweet success so yes success is coming towards you so you just got to manifest this you know and believe that you deserve it because it's coming towards you and you know you are worthy you are deserving and they want you to know that this is coming towards you and you deserve this you've you've earned this okay this is something that you've really been working towards and it's going to be very sweet. It's going to be sweet because you've been through so much. And when it manifests, you're going to feel amazed and blown away by it because you've been through so much. And this is going to be a complete change. You're coming into a much lighter phase of your life. And we've got Archangel Ragel. Be fair in all situations and resolve conflict. So that goes back to that peace offering. So, yeah, Archangel Ragel, so, you know, wanting you to resolve any conflicts. So this could be internal conflicts and this could be with other people or a particular person. And be fair, you know, maybe listen to out, you know, hear somebody out. Um, 
look at things from another perspective, from the other points of view, and resolve and dissolve any conflicts in your life. And this will really help you as well to move forward. And Archangel Mallory, remember who you are. Take action when you're ready. So they want you to remember who you are. You're an angelic being connected to source energy. You are part of source. Um, you have all the knowledge and wisdom within you. You have the abilities to create a beautiful, abundant life for yourself. And they want you to remember who you really are and take action when you're ready. So when you're ready, when you're feeling that energy, you will come into that. <clears throat> you will come into that. So let's get some tarot. And I'm going to save this message for last. Let's get some tarot. So what positive messages? Power one from the guides and angels. Yeah, we've got Wheel of Fortune. So the wheel is turning. Like I said, you're coming into a new cycle. You're letting go of the past. We've got the Four of Wands. So there could be um, a, a foundation, a new foundation coming in. This could be a relationship because there's a couple there under the moon. So this could be, for some of you, a relationship. You're coming into a new uh, status in a, in a relationship. It's going to be balanced. It could lead to a commitment for some of you. Yeah, we've got Page of Swords. So I feel that you are going to see the truth. You're going to be honest with yourself and really look at the truth. And we've got the Six of Cups energy. So for some, it could be somebody's returning to your life that you've known before. And it could be in this lifetime. It could be in a, a past life. You've got that past life connection. And we did have this peace offering, end of a conflict. So it could resonate. It could be to do with that connection that maybe you fell out with somebody and they want to make peace with you in some way. So, you know, be open to hearing them out, at least. What positive news for part one? Positive news for part one. For one. Yeah, we've got Six of Swords. So you're moving away from the past. You know, you've had a lot of lessons. You've been through a lot. And you're moving away from the past. And into much smoother waters in your life. So let's get your final message. They chose you. This is a message from the universe. You might not readily believe this. It might even spook you a little bit. But there are those who choose, chose this very lifetime in large part knowing you'd be there. Now that's what we call a reputation. Hugs the universe. So I'll leave that thought with you. So sending you love and blessings, part one. Take care. Hello, party. You chose the guardian angel. So I think your guardian angel wants you to know they are around you. They are there. But they need your permission to come in and help you. They need you to call on them. Um, because we have free will, they cannot just come in and, you know, interfere basically in your life. So if you need assistance, if you need guidance or support, they're asking you to pray for guidance, to connect with them. And they really are there around you that right now they want to help you um, with whatever you're going through. So do, be open to that. Be open to connect with your guardian angel this time. So we've got power and intention. So your guys, angels and ancestors want you to know that you have the power. You are a powerful being. You are a part of source. We're all connected. We're all part of that. And we start off there. We all have this power within us. And intention. So you have that manifestation ability within you. You can manifest your desires. If you put that power and intention together and believe in yourself and believe that you're worthy believe that you're deserving and focus on truly what you do want as opposed to what you don't want really focus on that and you know they want you to know that you've had many lifetimes and you've done this all before and you have that you just need to tap into that wisdom again and we've got ease and grace so they want you to live your life with ease and grace maybe you've had a difficult time maybe you've been through a lot and a lot of us have, you know, and you're coming into a period of ease and grace. So you're leaving difficult times behind you, coming into a much calmer phase, a much more easy phase, a much more graceful phase in your life. 
um, and you're going to feel much better, much more at peace with yourself. And we've got friendship and union here. So for some of you, there could be an, some new friendships coming in. Um, for some, it's a friendship that could lead to like a union of a relationship. And it's a beautiful connection. For some, it could be same-sex relationship. Um, we've got beautiful rainbow here. You know, it's beautifully uh, divinely guided connection. Um, so just be open to receive. You know, this could be heading your way. <clears throat> and we've got Sky Father. So some of you could be linked to the Galactics. You could resonate Star Seed and trust in the unknown. They and there's the eagle. So there's a lot of wisdom here. There's about seeing things from the higher perspective. Um, your galactic family want you to know that they're very much there for you. And whether you know they're there or not, trust in the unknown. And trust in the unseen, you know, that there are these beings around you that, again, that you can call on and connect with. And they see things from a higher perspective. And, and maybe they could give you some information. Maybe they want you to <coughs> channel some information from them for others. And we've got Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. So, yeah, sometimes we need to, you know, just make peace. Um with ourselves, with another person, it's not about being right all the time, you know, sometimes we need to let things go, if it's causing a rift between people, does it matter who's right or wrong, everyone has their own opinion, and what is, who's to say what is right or wrong, um, in a situation, it's time to, to smoke the peace pipe, it's time to make peace with yourself, and with another person or people, to really come into a peaceful resolution, I feel here. And you'll feel better for that. And we've got Sia, see beyond the current situation. So some of you could have the talent here for seeing the future. Could be clairvoyant, clairsentient, claircognizant. Um, you could be somebody that does see beyond the current. You pick up on energies. Maybe you read crystal balls. Maybe you read tarot. Um, but they're asking you to look beyond the situation you're in right now. They're asking you to see beyond that, okay? see the higher perspective which is what we had here with the eagle so look at things from a higher perspective right now things may not be quite as they seem we've got faith humanity and benevolence stay calm trust the good in yourself and others see the light in the world <coughs> so we've got the blue of the throat chakra here so yeah you could be somebody that is meant to communicate to others um, you could have a way of communicating with others, um, to humanity, with, with faith and benevolence. Somebody, you know, you could be somebody that has a message to share. As I said, you could be channeling information or getting downloads. And they, there's a need for you to stay calm, to trust yourself and others and see the light in the world. You know, to see the light, to spread the light, to be the light. And you are, maybe you resonate as a light worker, star seed. You could be somebody that is spreading the light. And they want you to trust yourself and stay calm and, and just really spread the word as well. And we've got the angel of expression. Speak your truth and express yourself clearly. Oh my God, I love the way spirit work. I mean, yeah, so just confirming that message there. I hadn't looked at them when I was shuffling. So yeah, they're confirming that message. So you need to speak your truth. What else did it say? And express yourself clearly. So I feel that you're somebody that is a good communicator. Um, you are somebody who's going to communicate with a lot of people. A message of faith. Uh, a message about of humanity. About being benevolent to others. Being in that energy of self-love. Seeing beyond what's going on right now. Seeing into the unknown. And maybe sharing that message with others. To help give them peace. And understanding right now. And we've got Twin Flame. So some of you could resonate it's been in a Twin Flame connection. Or this could be a message that you're going to meet your Twin Flame. Okay, very soon. So yeah, this could be on the horizon. And Twin Flames are very sacred unions. You've known each other for many, many lifetimes. Um, they can be challenging connections. Um, they're mirrors. They can be a mirror to us, our good and bad aspects. Maybe you're in the middle of this right now and they, you've been triggered and you, you know, you've been working on yourself. You're doing this healing. You could be in separation from this person. 
um but there is always that connection you know that soul connection that telepathic connection and you could be connecting with them even if you've not met them and even if you have met them but you're in separation you could be connecting with them right now telepathically in the 5d in your dreams and remember who you are archangel michael you are a powerful loving and creative child of god you are very loved wow so archangel michael wears the blue cloak of protection and he carries the sword of truth so you're going to see the truth okay you're going to start seeing the truth of who you are um and you are a peaceful loving being and creative and you are very loved and that that is all of us you know we are all that we are all powerful we are all loving we have the potential to be that and creative and we are very loved you are loved by your divine team by your guides your angels your ancestors by god the universe whatever you resonate with and they want you to remember the truth of who you are and this blue as well this could be a very uh, powerful color for you to wear and it very much links in with communication again and with the sort of truth you know start communicating your truth you know it starts with ourselves be authentic you know speak your truth to yourself and to others and know what you want you know we started off with that manifestation know what you want know what you want to manifest and you have the power to do that but you're coming into a much more peaceful time and with that twin flame i just realized we had that union card there as well so you could be coming into union with your twin flame okay for some of you you could be coming into union so let's get your positive messages from the tarot for part two this is one of my decks here is cat um jack that i made in memory of my son who i lost last year so what positive news for part two We've got eight of one sorry eight of water so walking away yeah walking away from what no longer serves you walking away from the past walking away from difficult times you know walking forwards yeah we've got the strength card so you're you're much stronger and that's what archangel michael said you know know your own strength you are strong and we've got the wheel of fortune so things are starting to move forward and the six of coins six of earth abundance is coming towards you here abundance we've got king of earth so this could be the person you know there could be an earth sign taurus virgo capricorn um somebody mature somebody very financially stable and abundant um, or this could be your energy that you are really manifesting in financial abundance for yourself and stability. And we've got the eight of fire though. So I feel there is communication coming in. There's fast movement forward in your life. So yeah, I do feel it's a person. I feel it's this person. What positive news. We've got the Hierophant, so yeah, it could lead to a commitment. We've got the Queen of Water, so that could be your energy. So you're very much in the loving energy, being in the energy of self-love and compassion for yourself and others. What positive news. Yeah, we've got success and victory. So beautiful, so good things coming towards you here. So let's just get your final message. So start where you are. This is a message from the universe deck. The great thing about feeling deep, profound, earth-shaking love is that you can start with anyone. Next, the universe. So yeah, love is available to us, you know, in any shape or form. So never forget that. So I'm going to leave it there, part two. Love and blessings. Hello, part three. You chose self-acceptance. So your guides and angels and ancestors want you to be more accepting of yourself, to really appreciate who you are, to really know your value, to really know your worth, <clears throat> to really be in love with yourself, to love yourself, to really appreciate who you truly are, you know, that you are an aspect of source and a creation of God, if you believe in that, uh, whatever you believe in, you know, you are worthy and deserving of all good 
and this came out with it as well divine guidance so this is divine guidance for you they are confirming that they're around and um, they need your permission to come in they need you to connect with them and they want to assist you at this time they want to guide you and through this message they're giving you some guidance but you can connect with them in your own way through prayer through meditation they need our permission to come in and give us that guidance okay so they want you to connect with them more so we've got Archangel Raziel, seek and you will find, be a wise one. So maybe they're encouraging you to do research, to read maybe more, to look into things more, um, to do research in some way, read books, look at stuff online, you know, whatever resonates for you. Um, if there's questions you have, um, it's a seek and you will find. So if you've got questions about who you are, about your life, you know, look into it, do the research, um, be a wise one, you know, look at ancient texts, you know, read, read, you know, there's lots out there, isn't there, about every, anything and everything, so, in, you know, widen your knowledge, increase your knowledge, and there's a beautiful rainbow, which is always a good luck sign to me, so beautiful, good blessings coming towards you here, and we've got Archangel Lavender, prefers for soul healing, forgive and release everyone. So lavender, I mean lavender is a beautiful essence um, that you can use in the home. It's very relaxing and soothing, especially if you're feeling anxious. Um, but they they're saying <laughs> your soul, this your soul is going to receive some healing, and it's time to forgive and release everyone. And this is you know the catalyst for this deep soul healing that's overdue. I feel. And you're coming into a period of peace. You know, we've got the doves of peace there. Maybe you're going to connect with your angelic soul, your angelic part of you, that higher being, that higher self. And it's time to forgive and release everyone in your life. You know, anyone that's ever hurt you, forgive yourself. As I always say, the Hope and Ono prayer is a really great prayer to help you with things like that. Really good prayer. And we have Archangel Zeriel, give and receive love and obey the spiritual laws. Look at those beautiful wolves. So a wolf could resonate for you. Maybe it's your um, totem animal, spirit animal, spirit guide. Um, it's time to give and receive love, you know, to open up, open up your heart, obey the spiritual laws, you know. Um, being that, you know, only do to others what you would expect for yourself, you know, treat others the way you want to be treated. And open up to love, open your heart up to love again. And we've got the High Priest of Atlantis, Chakra Healing. So maybe you need to do some Chakra Healing, and there's lots online. Um, I'm probably going to do another healing meditation for all of the chakras. Um, maybe this is a, a guidance as well. Maybe you could learn to do like Reiki Healing, where we work with the chakras. Maybe you feel guided. Maybe you had resonate with a lifetime in Atlantis. Maybe you was a high priest in Atlantis. And maybe that's an ancient ancient wisdom and knowledge within you that's going to come to light. And you're going to be able to work with the chakras. And you're going to be able to heal yourself and other people. And it starts with ourselves. Wow, we've got Mother Mary emotional healing. So yeah, you're going through some emotional healing right now. And you need to honour that, you know, this is about feeling those feelings and allowing yourself to feel it and release it and not holding on to anything. And, you know, this is part of the forgiveness as well, forgiving yourself, forgiving others. Allow yourself to heal, allow yourself to let go, allow yourself to cry, allow yourself to get angry. Allow yourself, whatever feeling you're feeling, to feel it and release it and release it with compassion and be compassionate with yourself. And we have Lady Portia, Divine Order. Do what you feel is right, an important lesson is unfolding. So Divine Order, Divine Timing is at work here. And we've got the beautiful purples here, lavender colours again. So your third eye, this could be connected to your third eye. So tune into your intuition at this time. Follow your intuition, follow your gut. You know, tune into that. You know, the more we use it, the, the stronger it becomes. And there's a lesson unfolding here about this. So the more we use our intuition, the stronger it becomes. And the more we feel we can trust that. <coughs> Wedding. Marriage is a union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. 
Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith and love's prayer. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. Wow. Wow. So it's come right under that give and receive love. So I feel as you do that in your life, if you're especially if you're single, um, or even if you're in a relationship, you're going to deepen your connection and this could lead to a commitment. You know, I know not everyone believes in marriage, but for a lot of you, it could lead to a wedding day, a marriage, a commitment. OK, by by um, opening up to love again, open your heart to give and receive love and um, being that loving, compassionate energy of self. You know, it starts with ourself and tune into your intuition and follow your higher guidance and yeah, the, your two souls are coming together. So I feel this is divinely guided. This is somebody that you're meant to meet. And it's time to open your heart to be ready to receive this. <clears throat> and we've got energy work. Life can be electrifying because in every essence is energy. Your body is a remarkable energy field that will positively respond to loving treatments. Your hands and heart are activated to give healing energy to your loved ones and clients, and it's right under the chakra healing. <clears throat> so I do, excuse me, I do feel this is a nudge for somebody to really become a healer, to do some uh, chakra healing, particularly maybe energy work, which is the Reiki. Okay, but there are lots of different methods of energy work out there. So yeah, I feel this is a nudge maybe for you to get involved here, to do this healing, do this work, you know, learn this uh, modality, and really, you could help yourself and others, but first it starts with ourselves. Do that healing on yourself, okay? But you have ancient knowledge, I feel. You possibly had a lifetime in Atlantis where you did this work, and when you get your training or your teaching, you will just um, reactivate those memories, I feel. And we've got the angel of diet and nutrition. Pay attention to what you eat and drink. You intuitively know what is good for you. So, yeah, just a reminder, maybe you've not been eating well lately. Maybe you've lacked attention on your diet. Uh, we all go through phases, don't know where we're, you know, maybe we're good with it, our diet and nutrition, and maybe other times we're a bit lazy. And it's just asking you to pay more attention to what you're eating and drinking and follow your intuition on that because you'll know what is good for you. So this is really where our physical health comes in, you know, taking care of our body by what we eat, you know, our food is our medicine at the end of the day, so make sure you eat well, make sure you eat healthily to keep in good the optimum health, especially if you've got this beautiful love coming towards you and this ability to heal others. We really need to keep our energy high and we've got listen. So, yeah, your your angels and guys, they came through. They want to say to you it's time to listen to their guidance. They want you to meditate more, maybe pray and just listen for their guidance, okay? Just wait and be in the silence and listen to the guidance that they have for you, okay? So now we're going to look at some tarot. And I'm using my artistic tarot deck, one of my decks. It's in my shop. So what positive, positive news from the guides and angels and ancestors for pile three? Positive news. Well, we've got the King of Coins. So this is a masculine energy. So this could be somebody um, that's coming towards you. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or it could indicate that you're coming into more abundance. We've got the Priest, which is the Hierophant energy. So again, there could be a commitment. We did say that with the marriage coming towards you. There is, you know, it does look like there definitely is somebody that wants to commit to you, coming towards you. Yeah, we've got the judgment energy. So that can talk about a rebirth. This could be somebody from your past returning. Okay. Something you thought was over could be renewed. Or this is just all your good karma is coming back to you. So you're going to be rewarded for all the good that you've done. What well, positive news for Pile 3? Wow. Two of Cups, yeah. There's definitely a connection coming in, and it's going to be mutual. You're both going to feel the same. We've 
got the Empress. So they see you as the Empress, the Divine Feminine, and we've got the Death card. So this is very transformational energy. And I feel that you are working on your own transformation. And we've got the Sun. So there's happiness and joy coming towards you here. And passion with the Ace of Wands. I feel it's a very passionate connection. And it's all about divine timing with the Three of Wands. You know, it, it will come in at the right time. And I feel, again, this is about getting your energy um, in the right place. Okay, let's get your final message. So we've got love is the reason. Each person in your life is there for a reason. And that reason always has something to do with love. Like me, the universe. How beautiful. So yeah, we need to love more. Don't we need to be in that energy of love for ourselves, for other people. And be in that beautiful energy, that loving energy. And that is the highest energy to be in. So I'm going to leave it there. Hope you enjoyed that. If you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, comment. And I will see you next time. Bye for now.